وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد In this episode إن شاء الله تعالى I'm going to speak about رمضان and حفظ اللسان In this month of Ramadan It's a month where we need to train our tongue we need to make sure that we protect it from speech, unnecessary things, backbiting, tail bearing, and all of the other evil things that our tongues uh, do. The Prophet ﷺ told us, مَن لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ وَالْجَهْلَ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ أَنْ يَدَعْ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Anyone who doesn't leave off the person doesn't leave off idle speech. His tongue is just open. He says whatever evil wants, he wants. He speaks with uh, evil words, insults, name calling. And in all of the evils that the tongue can do, he just says those things. Foul language. فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ أَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Allah has no need for you to just abstain from food and drinking. And if fasting is not only abstaining from food and drinking, that's not all what it is. If you're just going to insult people and use your tongue loosely, then Allah has no need for you to stop eating and drinking. That's what the hadith say. Al-Muhallab, Ibn Battal brings it in the Sharh of Sahih al-Bukhari. He says, فِيهِ دَلِيلٌ أَنَّ حِكَمَ الصِّيَامِ الإمساك عن الرفة وقول وقول الزور كما يمسك عن الطعام والشراب وإن لم يمسك عن ذلك فقد تنقص صيامه وتعرض لسخط ربه وترك قبول منه المهلب هي سيد رحمه الله إن this is a evidence يعني إن this حديث is an evidence that the wisdom behind fasting is to withhold from foul language an idle speech. As you withhold from drinking and eating, and the way you stop eating and the way you stop drinking in the month of Ramadan, same way you need to stop from idle speech and foul language. And if you do not withhold from idle speech and foul language, if you don't, your fasting has been reduced. وتعرض and you have now presented yourself to لسقط ربه Allah's anger سبحانه وتعالى and Allah's wrath وترك قبوله منه and Allah سبحانه وتعالى will leave of accepting it from you ولذلك بعض السلف some of the salaf they actually held the opinion that if the person speaks foul language and says uh, evil things with his tongue that it does break your fast just same way drinking and eating breaks your fast. Some of the Salaf held that opinion. Ibn al-Jawzi, he said, وَلَا بُدَّ مِنْ مُلَازَمَةِ الصَّمْتِ عَنِ الْكَلَامِ It is necessary to be consistent and continuous in withholding from what? الصَّمْتِ عَنِ الْكَلَامِ الْفَاحِشِ وَالْغِيبَةِ To withhold from idle speech and backbiting. فَإِنَّهُ مَا صَامَ مَنْ ظَلَّ يَأْكُلُ لُحُمَ النَّاسِ Because he hasn't fasted the one who is consistent and continuous on eating the flesh of the people. Abdullah ibn Mas'udin said, Wallahi alladhi la ilaha ghayru. I swear by the Lord that there is none worthy of worship except him. Ma'ala dhahri al-ardi shay'un ahaqu bitooli sijni min al-lisan. That there is nothing that is more deserving on this earth to be in a long time, long sentence than the tongue. Yani the tongue deserves a long life sentence, imprisonment. This is the fiqh of the sahabas and the tabi'een and the tabi'u tabi'een. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is swearing by Allah. He's saying, Wallahi ladhi la ilaha ghayru ma'ala dhahri al-ardi 
on this earth today there is nothing that deserves to be more imprisoned than the tongue and it deserves um, to be imprisoned to be kept in prison solid solitary inf confinement is where the tongue should be in that shows you how they saw the dangers of the tongue Jabir ibn Abdullah he said إِذَا صُمْتَ فَلْيَصُمْ سَمْعُكَ وَبَصَرُكَ وَلِسَانُكَ if you're going to fast, let your hearings fast with you. Let your eyesight also fast with you. وَلِسَانُكَ And your tongue should fast with you. From what? عَنِ الْكَذِبِ وَالْمَحَارِمِ Your tongue should fast from lying and speaking haram. So the concept of fasting is that you're hearing. You don't listen to music. Stay away from that. There's no point in you fasting and you're listening to music. وَبَصَرُكَ Your eyesight. You should also fast from your eyesight. Don't look at things that are uh, indecent and haram. وَلِسَانُكَ And your tongue. عَنِ الْكَذِبِ وَالْمَحَارِمِ The Prophet Sallallahu told us, إِنَّ الْعَبْدَ لَيَتَكَلَّمُ بِالْكَلِمَةِ إِنَّ الْعَبْدَ لَيَتَكَلَّمُ بِالْكَلِمَةِ مَا يَتَبَيَّنُ مَا فِيهَا يَهُوِي بِهَا فِي النَّارِ أَبْعَدَ مَا بَيْنَ الْمَشْرِقِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ A person, he speaks a speech. مَا يَتَبَيَّنُ مَا فِيهَا He doesn't actually uh, know what he just said. He doesn't, it's not clear to him what he just said. Because of it, he will dwell in the hellfire deep than what? ما بين المشرق والمغرب Between the east and the west. Abdullah ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنه was saying قُلْ خَيْرًا تَغْنَمْ أَوْ اسْمُ تَسْلَمْ قَبْلَ أَنْ تَنَدَّمْ Say good, you'll find success. Or be silent and you'll be safe before you regret. ولذلك the poet he said احفظ لسانك أيها الإنسان لا يلدغنك إنه ثعبان كم في المقابر من قتيل لسانه كانت تهاب لقاءه الشجعان Protect your tongue, O person, O human beings, the children of Adam. احفظ لسانك أيها الإنسان لا يلدغنك إنه ثعبان Do not let it bite you. It's a scorpion. Your tongue is a scorpion. كم في المقابر من قتيل لسانه How many people are in their graves because of statements that they said they couldn't protect their tongues. كان تهاب لقاه الشجعان The people used to venerate them and honor them from meeting them. The tongue, my beloved brothers and sisters, is a strong organ. It can bring you success and good and it can bring you destruction and harm. And you have to master this tongue and the way to use it. And this month Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a chance that we perfect our speech and what we say. May Allah wa ta'ala allow us to be from those people who protect their tongue from backbiting and tail bearing and evil speech. Innahu waliyu dhalika wal qadiru alayh. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. Assalamu alaikum. If you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to keep up to date with all of the courses we're going to be running, make sure you head over to amauathome.com.